welcome friends today's video is about the planet saturn saturn is a slow planet and the things it represents are adversity delays boundaries restrictions depression uh, tenacity austerity some kind of sickness to the mind all the failures that we see in our life and all the sufferings so having said all these things about saturn then why is saturn important in the horoscope it seems it is all gloomy to me right but today's horos today's uh, video is about the greatness of saturn so what is the greatness of this planet let us explore after all these adjectives that i've used for saturn let's explore saturn saturn is a dark planet it represents the color black it is not a light and bright planet it's a very malefic planet and the energy of saturn tells us to work through the adversities of life uh, i'll give you an example we have 32 teeth now if one teeth is having cavity the tongue will always go towards that teeth which is having that cavity because of the pain the ache whatever saturn is exactly that position in the horoscope the placement of saturn wherever in whichever house it is placed out of the 12 houses in the horoscope it represents some kind of ache some kind of scarcity some kind of problem in the person's life so be it the first house if it will be about the self some kind of scarcity about the self second house is money mainly money matters second house third house is regarding the siblings uh, <clears throat> usually younger siblings fourth house will be the house or the property or the mother that we deal with fifth house is the children some kind of problems with the children or the luck factor goes down very much the sixth house is the pradhartha house Here Saturn always tells you to give. You have to do service to others. Nothing much in return. Seventh house is definitely regarding partnership. Some kind of problem with the partner. Eighth house is about legacy, in-laws, and all this. Ninth house is a fortune house. Saturn plays a very difficult role over here. Fortune shines very late. Tenth house is a work house. A person's all concentration goes towards work. Eleventh house is the gains. The gain that we have in our life through the work we do. and the 12th house is the moksha expenditure house so wherever saturn is sitting in these 12 houses some kind of problem will be faced by that house that is for sure now in the past uh, few months as saturn moved into aquarius from capricorn both are its own sign i'm finding that people are coming more and having some kind of typical saturn satanic problem going on in their horoscope now this happens when saturn becomes very strong in transit or uh, for that matter saturn wants to make you do some kind of karma so in that regard we have to understand and go with the energy of saturn now uh, i have seen in a horoscope saturn is such a dreaded planet it sometimes destroys the full horoscope the full horoscope is just a doomsday Uh, because the saturn can be a placement of saturn is such it is aspecting the lagna the sun and the moon the person lacks any kind of confidence that person is unable to do anything in the world but uh, having said that if saturn is everything bad then why in my opinion or many other people who is uh, who have dealt with jyotish they say it's the most important planet because if you take any big shots in this world all are ruled by a very good saturn in their horoscope or i would say they have polished their saturn to such an extent that saturn was bound to give them good results after a lot of tenacity and hard work
whether it is uh, you call it anybody whether it's um, the ambani's mukesh ambani and dhirubhai ambani amitabh bachchan shahrukh khan uh, anybody from the west also napoleon hitler anybody you take up with, who has done something with something big organization structured approach towards life and have become really big shots uh, on their own kind of rags to reach a story that is how saturn works they have worked with the satanic energy it did not happen overnight it happened with lot of uh, you know single minded focus towards that working uh, with the energy of saturn knowingly or unknowingly diligently working towards the dream that they have uh, they have you know garnered in this life and they have uh, they have seen that dream and they have worked towards that dream so what saturn does is that like uh, the mythological story of the churning of the ocean uh, it first brings out the poison and then brings out the amrit so anybody anybody who is having a big dream i'm not calling about the regular dreams of life i'm telling a project or a dream which requires 10 15 years of constantly working behind it hard and regularly in a disciplined way all these are satanic things so you have to understand that it will not work in a day you have to keep on doing that thing and when saturn will come into that kind of a transit when it can bestow the result it will definitely give you the good results of your work that you have been putting in for so many days see uh, friends this this channel has started because my client whenever i meet a people asking for consultation they feel very afraid of the energy of saturn they feel saturn has doomed their life so uh, this channel is not for learning astrology there are many channels out there who will make you learn for people like us we learn from astrology from channels from other sources every day regularly but uh, my my thing about this channel is that i want to make the normal people understand how the energy of each and every planet works saturn is a very important planet one video will definitely not be enough for me to give the whole thing about saturn like i would want to discuss the saturn with different planets if it is in conjunction with a particular planet uh, how it affects the planet suppose saturn is conjunct with venus we know venus is a friend of saturn but how much it is a friend saturn with, will leave its influence on venus that some venusian quality uh, will be missing due to uh, the presence of saturn with that venus the conjunct venus in your horoscope something venus represents some kind of relationship uh, uh, and all the luxury some all these things can come late there can be problem with that regarding the house it uh, is sitting in so this will be a different video today's video is about the energy of saturn whenever you feel that you are lonely and uh, it's a, a depression you're feeling some kind of depression you must understand some kind of karma is linked with saturn that is making you feel that kind of a thing so you must work with the energy of being alone saturn wants you to do that once you adjust with that energy slowly 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 you'll see after 2 years the things are turning for better and now you start enjoying your loneliness to becoming a solitariness and you product and you produce very beautiful results working on some other thing because you have spent a lot of time with yourself with saturn mod to understand yourself your problems because saturn splits open the weakness that we have in us and it wants us to improve and understand this is our weak point once we start doing that we come very close with the uh, you'll see after that um, we understand how to work with this energy of saturn and we don't uh, feel that much you know bogged down by the adversity that saturn brings in our life like people are very uh, obviously sare sati the 7 and a half years of saturn transit on the moon is difficult it is very difficult but it brings us to our humility that is very important 
it brings us to our real self which is very important the kantak saturn the fourth house saturn yeah difficult family becomes uh, against us lot of things can happen eighth saturn ashtam shani is also a difficult transit for three eight or two and a half years these things happen with saturn not saying that it's a very easy planet but if we can deal with its uh, ways like focus like uh, you know uh, criticizing ourselves finding our weaknesses working on it hard no, working with the working in a structured way in a disciplined way all these are good qualities of saturn any big thing which requires in your terms big means not anything which is like building up an empire not necessary in your terms if any big thing needs to be done which requires a good time of 10 years it has to be worked out in a day to day basis nothing happens overnight so that is the energy of saturn that i'm talking about today hope i could uh, put a little bit of light on uh, this uh, topic the greatness of saturn how to work with this energy of saturn hope i could make my viewers understand uh, thank you for watching my video have a good day